Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder wants to pass up Floyd Money. Easy work, Mayweather, with his record. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Shout out to the Cash App. I always forget Cash App. You know, I think it's because I added it later than everything else. But also sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It does help the channel. Now, Deontay Wilder, he is getting ready for his upcoming rematch. Should be a good fight. I'm looking forward to it with Luis King Kong Ortiz. They're taking this one to Vegas, November 23rd. His first fight on Fox since the new PBC deal. Previously, his home was Showtime. So I'm anxious to see how Fox promotes and you know arranges and sets everything up but water he did a media day and he said some interesting things regarding his re his resume and he has currently a record just for you know note keeping sake his record is 41 and 0 and 1 and that one draw is to tyson fury last december this is what wilder had to say and i quote he thinks he can pass mayweather's record and get 52 and 0 he says, I think I can. I'm, I'm halfway there. <laughs> with the way I'm fighting and with the things I've got planned for my career, <laughs> I'll definitely get there. He says, 52-0 with 51 knockouts. That would be a sick record to have. I only have six more years left in the business. Six more years and I'm out of here. Within these six years, I just want to give everyone the fights they want to see. If you want me to fight your favorite fighters, then get your favorite fighters to come. A lot of these guys say they want to fight me, but then they come up with PEDs or they find themselves not really wanting to fight. When people think about boxing, I want them to think about Deontay the Bomb Bomber Wilder. I only have six years, six more years left, and then I'm out of the sport. So love me now. Give me my roses now. When I'm gone, you're going to miss me. Because nobody's going to knock anybody out like Deontay Wilder. That's straight facts. I'm coming back to the basic plan with Ortiz. Because Ortiz is a very dangerous fighter. Right? He goes on to say, a lot of people talk about Ortiz's age, but not too many people are trying to whoop that old man's eye either. Only me. I whoop old folks. I whoop young folk. And that's just how it is. I love Ortiz as a person and I respect him a lot. But when we step inside that ring, all, all that is going to go out the window. I come from the old school. You can have animosity against someone, you know, negative energies towards someone. But then when you get in the ring and release your energy, may the best man win. After that, you release your energy on that person, so you should have no type of negative energy towards someone. Just duke it out. They say fighting don't solve problems, but in my life, I found that it does. It solves a lot of things in my life. A lot of people try to bring me down, but then they got to try harder. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm always rising. I'm always climbing. And as you can see, I'm always going to the bank, baby. So that's what Deontay Wilder had to say. He thinks he can pass up Mayweather's record. I mean, that would be a crazy record, obviously, for a heavyweight. I ain't never seen that, you know. And there's some good up and coming. You know, there's a lot of good up and comers that within the next five, six years could really be so. F.A. Jogba, I'm checking him. Daniel Dubois, um, Adam Kownaski. Joe Joyce, Tony Yoka, you know, there's a lot of good fights that could be built that will probably be bigger in the next couple of years. So it remains to be seen if he can get to 50 and 0, 51, 52 and 0, and pass Mayweather as a heavyweight with mostly knockouts. You know, obviously, he, he, we can't look too much past Luis Ortiz. I think Luis, I told you, I'm on record. I think Luis Ortiz is far more dangerous and um 
this fight scares me for Wilder more than than Tyson Fury rematch. You know, if listen, I said this so many times and I've been saying it for I don't know, it's been a minute, but hear me and hear me good. If Wilder gets past Ortiz, the more effortless he gets past Ortiz, if he does, right, the less chance I'm giving Tyson Fury. So what I mean is if he goes and bombs Luis Ortiz out and makes it look like Bermain Stavern too, then I'm not giving Tyson Fury much of any hope because I think Luis Ortiz he's he's really training like he's with larry wade he switched stuff up trying to get his cardio and conditioning under order and you know he's hungry this is like life changing his daughter has some medical issues and stuff he's trying to create a different world for her and if he beats deontay wilder who's undefeated who shows all the promise and plays spoiler before the Tyson Fury. Luis Ortiz might get the Tyson Fury fight. You know what I'm saying? You, you never know. Boxing, we just seen. Look at Andy Ruiz Jr. Andy Ruiz this same year, this same year, just became the man out of nowhere. Man, I follow Andy Ruiz whole career. I ain't seen nobody. I woke up, I don't know what time it was. I think I was actually covering another fight. So I was out of town. I was in another state, I think. I got to look it up. But... I think I might have been covering a Terrence Crawford fight, but that New Zealand fight happened because I remember watching it in a hotel room. I woke up early. I had to watch it early. The fight with Andy Ruiz in New Zealand with uh, Joseph Parker. And, you know, people weren't even checking for Andy Ruiz. I thought Andy Ruiz won that fight, but people weren't even staying up and checking for Andy Ruiz and stuff. Now, all of a sudden, you have everybody who's prideful and, you know, it's cool. I'm happy for Andy Ruiz, but I'm just saying you have a lot of bandwagon. Like, just listen to the DAZN telecast. They weren't giving Andy Ruiz no props. They were some. They were acting like he had no chance to beat Joshua and stuff. And now all of a sudden everybody's fans. So, you know, that's boxing works like that. I mean, I think most sports work like that. If the Golden State Warriors were doing well, you get bandwagon. I've been in the Bay and I've been a fan since Chris Mullen and Mitch Richmond and stuff like that. Spreewell days. And I didn't see this many fans. And then now, all of a sudden, when they were doing good, they're all type of fan. Now, when, you know, KD leaves and things change and the team is not necessarily looking the same, people are back Lakers fans and, you know, Cavs or, who, you know, whoever. Whoever they think is, is, is popping. So it happens in sports. But Luis Ortiz, man, that's, that's a serious dude, man. So I think if the the better the performance Wilder has versus Luis Ortiz, the less chance that I'm giving Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury was getting really worked over by Auto Violent. You know that's a great that's a great fight to watch. You know if you're getting motivated, you're about to fight Auto Violent. Watch your Wilder. All the, if he gets past Luis Ortiz, just watch your first fight. You know watch the Steve Cunningham fight. Watch the Auto Violent fight, and then you know you and your team formulate a strategy. But the other thing is Tyson Fury, I think he's more like talking. He's more talk than he, he's trying to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like the WWE and MMA, I think he's kind of cashing out. So I don't know if his heart is going to be. Uh, I don't know. I, I just I have my convictions. We got to see how Wilder looks for Luis Ortiz. I'll leave it at that and, and wrap this video up. But for me, I just know boxing and lightning doesn't often strike twice in the same place. And I know if Tyson Fury gets hit like that again, I, I don't see him getting um, up again. And if he does, I don't see him making it through the round again. You know, it's just the likelihood of, of dealing with that smoke twice and, and getting up. And, you know, what if it happens earlier in the fight? So you're going to fight banged up like that. You know, you think the ref is it just everything played out how it was supposed to play out in the first one. But I just don't see that happening, you know. Because what if what if Deontay Wilder position petitions to not have Jack Reese? You know, another ref would have been stopped that fight, the first fight. You see a man fall like that, 6'9", eyes closed, one of his legs crossed, and you counting. You normally wouldn't even see that. Listen, at first when the fight happened, I was like, the fight, I see a draw. I could understand the draw. But the more I thought about it, that fight shouldn't have been a draw. Just based on the fact of when have you seen... A known knockout artist 
knock someone out and they were at least unconscious for four or five seconds on the ground snoring eyes were closed at first and their legs were crossed and they're that big and they fell like that and you even see a ref bother to count like when amir khan was sleeping from the canelo blow it was just a rap you know we know canelo has some power especially against the smaller amir khan and kenny bayless was like no nope, no nope. he did the same thing with pacquiao the way he failed like you can kind of generally tell so yeah i i just don't think luck or divine intervention or whatever that was is going to be on fury's side again and i never really seen him hurt wilder and i just think wilder has if he beats luis ortiz his confidence is going to definitely grow definitely grow and Wilder's not going to make the same mistake. Like, Wilder kind of, he thought it was over. So the adrenaline left his body. He's kind of dancing and stuff, walking to the neutral corner. Because nobody thought, he he's not used to guys getting up from his power. And it's, he's seen the guy, he, Deontay Wilder said, I seen his eyes roll in the back of his head. So he wasn't used to that. He wasn't used to someone like getting up and trying to fight back. And he doesn't finish him. You know, even if they do get back up. You get what I'm saying? To get back up normally like Gerald Washington and then moments later it gets TKO'd or they really get knocked out like brutally. So that's what he's used to. So I don't think if it all happens again, he's going to make the same mistake. He's going to quickly go to the neutral corner and he's going to pick his shots and, and really try to fold the man. But again, Luis Ortiz, that's up next. Let me know what you guys think for that fight. Let me know if you think he can beat, if Wilder can beat Floyd Mayweather's resume or his record, you know, that'd be impressive in, in this division because normally guys would in boxing. I don't think I can't think of any fighter that was a heavyweight to have 50, 50 and 0 at all. Um, I got to look at Rocky Marciano. Oh, he did. He actually he did. OK, but I can't think of anyone like modern heavyweights that had a 50 and 0 record. And, you know, Rocky Marciano, no disrespect to him but the heavyweight division was different then you know what i'm saying like now they got like super heavyweights guys that is like six 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 seven six eight you know damn near 270s you know it's just different rocky marciano was like 180 well not 180 probably 188 185 188 189 you know somewhere right in there so um respect to marciano but that's my thoughts let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. <laughs> we work. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.